Yesterday evening, WWE had its latest round of cuts, which saw a total 18 superstars lose their jobs. These cuts saw plenty of surprising name cuts, including Nia Jax, Keith Lee, Karrion Cross, and Scarlett. In the past, WWE has always explained their releases as due to budget cuts, a ridiculous notion considering that the company has never been as profitable, and it's reported that this was the same reason given this time around. WWE may have told their now ex-talent that the budget cuts were to blame, but it seems that wasn't the reason for at least some of the releases. After a report from Andrew Zarian said that four superstars had been cut for not being vaccinated, Fightful reported that at least five superstars were openly unvaccinated, some which were described as very surprising names, which could have caused problems with venues the company travels to. Some venues require entrants to be vaccinated and have proof of their vaccine to enter, and WWE would have had to work around using these five names in certain areas. Their report also notes that this wasn't the only reason these five names were cut, and that it's 100% legal for WWE to release someone for being unvaccinated. Fightful didn't say which five were unvaccinated, but we do know that Nia Jax had been very outspoken in the past about letting her immune system do the work should she ever test positive, which was covered in the New York Post. Jax's refusal to get vaccinated may also explain why she's been off TV, a hiatus which is now permanent. Karrion Cross has also liked anti-vaccine posts in the past, so he may too have lost his job because of his stance against vaccines. After going for over a year without live fans, WWE isn't taking any chances, especially now that they're traveling the US once more, and the company's precautions have allegedly cost four people their jobs this week. With over a dozen names cut from NXT and the main roster, this has unsurprisingly sent shockwaves with the remaining rosters, but this was something the company was preparing for. PW Insider reports that the latest Performance Center training classes, which were meant to happen today, have been cancelled in light of these recent cuts. It's unclear when these classes will return, but their report also revealed that the superstars who were cut were informed via phone call rather than face-to-face. -face. The NXT superstars will have to wait out a 30-day non-compete clause, while those on the main roster will have to wait the standard 90 days before they can work elsewhere. It's unknown whether B. Fab, who only just debuted on SmackDown as part of Hit Row, had signed a new main roster deal before her release, but we know that fans won't be seeing her or any other released name for a while, nor will any superstars be attending the Performance Center classes for the time being. These cuts were just the latest in a long line of cuts since April 2020, but how WWE treated the roster this time around is very different than before. Typically, WWE will post a statement on their website listing those cut by the company and wishing them well, but that wasn't the case this time around. Instead, WWE decided not to publicly announce the releases on their websites, and it was only when responding to an inquiry from the New York Post that they gave the classic line, We wish them the best in their future endeavors. After cutting some massively popular superstars, including the likes of Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman, and the subsequent backlash from fans, it's no wonder why WWE doesn't want to let fans know who exactly has been cut, but that hasn't stopped the information from getting out, despite the company's best efforts. It's always terrible to see someone lose their job, but it's even worse when you realize just how much money WWE has made. Shortly before 18 people lost their jobs due to budget cuts, WWE announced their 2021 third quarter financial results, declaring an increase in revenue. Earning $255.8 million in the yearly quarter, WWE has a ton of money in its account, with 15% of that figure, a total $34.2 million, coming from ticket sales and venue merchandise now that the company is back on the road. WWE's revenue wasn't hit as badly over the past year as many other companies, as their lucrative broadcast deals with the USA Network and Fox helped keep them afloat, but they now have even more money to work with thanks to ticket sales and venue merchandise. The company's revenue stream continues to grow as they record a 39% increase in digital video views during the third quarter, while WWE live events in North America attracted, quote, the highest quarterly average attendance in over a decade. With this information, it's baffling why WWE constantly cites budget cuts as the reason behind its talent releases, as if there's one thing we know about the company is that they have money to spare. 
These budget cuts have led to some massive names being cut over the past two years, and while WWE wants the roster to believe that these releases are because of the budget, nobody is buying that story after this latest earnings report. The biggest cut this time around is Keith Lee, who signed with WWE in 2018 as part of NXT. Becoming both the NXT Champion and North American Champion, Lee was called up to the main roster in August 2020 and defeated Randy Orton in his first pay-per-view match at Payback. The Limitless One had been scheduled to face Riddle and then US Champion Bobby Lashley in a triple threat title match in February this year, but was pulled from the match at Elimination Chamber. Lee's hiatus was more than WWE not having plans, as he was out of action until July, and later revealed that after testing positive, he had heart inflammation and nearly lost his life. Returning in September as Bearcat Lee and defeating Akira Tozawa, Lee's last Raw match saw him defeat Cedric Alexander on the October 25th show. A heel turn had been teased by the former NXT champion, which obviously won't happen now, as the Bearcat is out of the company. Changing Lee's name to Bearcat was one of the last creative decisions for him, but it was an idea that didn't come from the man himself. When a fan on Instagram claimed that Lee suggested the Bearcat name, an ode to legendary wrestler Edward Bearcat Wright, Lee refuted the claim saying, no, it was not, lol. Lee was a shocking release from WWE, but a less shocking cut was his fiance Mia Yim, who hadn't wrestled since the December 28, 2020 edition of Main Event. That match saw Yim, who was reckoning in retribution at the time, lose to Nikki Cross, months before the former Raw Women's Champion would don her superhero character. Signed by WWE in September 2018 and making her NXT debut on the October 24th show defeating Aliyah, Yim showed potential, but her career faced a dead end in retribution, where Reckoning was either possessed or had a kayfabe seizure in late 2020. Yim was reportedly set to return on the May 7th SmackDown and was meant to start feuding with Carmella, but that segment was pulled for time. Drafted to Raw last month, Yim never returned to the red brand, and her release will cause problems for Xavier Woods, as she is the reigning Up Up Down Down champion. On Twitter, Yim responded to her release, saying she has a 90-day non-compete clause and dropped an email address for booking inquiries. That same tweet also saw a video from the movie Friday, in which Smokey says that one must be a quote, stupid mother to get fired on their day off. Not having wrestled on TV for nearly a year, Mia Yim has had plenty of days off, and hopefully this cut will give her the chance to showcase her talents in the ring, albeit in other promotions. As for Lee, his style in the ring never appealed to Vince McMahon, who changed everything that made him great in NXT when the Bearcat transitioned to the main roster, and we can only hope that the man who started 2021 challenging for the WWE Championship has a better 2022 away from WWE's Chairman of the Board. All releases this week are subject to either a 30-day or 90-day non-compete clause, but some may soon find themselves in AEW when the time is right. On Twitter, AEW World Champion Kenny Omega dropped a very interesting tweet after news of the releases broke, teasing facing some of the now former superstars when their non-compete clause expires. He writes, Old rivals, old friends, some I've never encountered. I don't mind padding my record if they don't mind being a statistic. See if I care. AEW can't sign everyone WWE Let's Go, but it'll be hard to pass up on some of the names cut this week. And we'll have to see what Tony Khan's next play is when these non-compete clauses expire. Two releases that fans weren't surprised to see were for Lince Dorado and Grand Metalik, as it had been previously reported that both members of the Lucha House Party had requested to be let go. With their wishes now granted, Grand Metalik responded to his release on Twitter, thanking the fans for welcoming him with open arms, and thanked Vince McMahon for granting his release. Lince Dorado had a different response to his release, sharing a video of Conor McGregor saying, The King is back, as the former superstar is clearly excited to be out of WWE. The company once had plans for the Lucha House Party to sell a ton of merch to kids and become fan favorites, but they were never really given the chance to prove themselves in WWE. And we can only hope that things are better for the pair outside of the company. Scarlett Bordeaux was a surprising release, as there had been plans in the works to call her up to Raw to reunite her with her fiancé, Karrion Cross, who was also cut by WWE. 
On Twitter, Scarlett saw the funny side of things as she joked that it's time for her to fulfill her dream of a hardcore bra and panties match, stipulations that certainly wouldn't fly in WWE, and in a follow-up said the smoke show is back. Ember Moon responded that all she could do is laugh following her release, while Frankie Monet said she'd issue a statement after gathering herself, but added that she feels all levels of disappointment, sadness, anger, and uncontrollable laughter. In a lengthy statement, Zeta Rainier was proud that she made it to WWE, saying no one can ever take that from her. While in a video, Only Lorcan said that he had a great six years in WWE, calling it a cool chapter in my life and said he has a 90-day clause that'll end in February 2022. Trey Baxter promised that fans will see him in exactly 30 days, as he doesn't plan on wasting any time once his non-compete expires. Karrion Cross responded as only he could, sharing an ominous video of Graves, and former WWE superstar Bray Wyatt had an interesting tweet of his own. Seemingly responding to the releases, Wyatt said that, we wait for the right place, we wait for the right time, before borrowing a line from a Jake Roberts WrestleMania 6 promo saying that people have been groveling in the muck of avarice. The muck of avarice is believed to be WWE, at least according to Wyatt, and we'll have to see what he and all 18 of the new WWE releases do next in their respective careers. But where do you want to see these superstars go next? Which name should AEW snatch up when they can? Leave a comment below. And we're ending today with Michael Cole, who's one of WWE's longest tenured employees, but his decades of working in the loud and vibrant world of WWE have taken its toll. During the latest episode of The Pat McAfee Show, co-host AJ Hawk asked McAfee about working with Cole, to which the SmackDown color commentator said that Cole is actually deaf. Cole went on to clarify that he has 65% hearing loss and that he's able to keep working because WWE have provided a special hearing aid that fits under his headset. McAfee went on to praise Cole for staying true to his craft despite this obstacle and keeps working each week to provide commentary for WWE. Joining the WWE all the way back in 1995 on the recommendation of Todd Pettengill, Cole has worked tirelessly in WWE as a commentator, voiceover for promos, WWE.com contributor, and briefly a wrestler. And we have to commend the company veteran for continuing to commentate despite his hearing loss. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.